What's up everybody? Pile 702 back today with a burlap sack review. <laughs> no, actually it's a mechanical squonker. Yes, we have a mechanical squonker today. It was the holidays. You know, holidays for anyone that's like a vape junkie, it's just like sale. That's all you think about is vape sales, vape sales. And you start searching and searching. And, and I know I do a lot of high-end expensive shit, but my favorite things to do are really nice, kind of expensive shit, or really cheap shit that is awesome. The stuff in the middle, like, you know, some of it I do and it's kind of fun, but kind of middle stuff is like, eh. Like I'm very much, I'm off balance is what you would call it. You know, I'm, 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 up, I'm up here, I'm down here. So I like really, really nice high-end shit or I like very budget beyond, I like sub-budget buying is what I like to do. So back to the burlap sack. I was doing some um, surfing of the web, okay? And I came across a site called Gray Haze. Now, I don't know if it has J Haze behind this or something, but it's literally called Gray Haze. It's in the UK. And I found this tiny little badass 3D printed mechanical squonker. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go downtown I'm gonna show you all around this Azteca by Wilong. I think I'm saying that right. By Wilong? It's Y I L O O O O O O O N G. Wilong. Azteca. We are gonna go downtown. I'm gonna show you all around the Azteca by Wilong. And we are going to throw a build in, pop back up. Pros, cons, you know how we do it. And here we have the Azteca by Wilong. So it just comes in this little burlap sack, which is pretty awesome, actually. It looks like something super high-end would be in there and you pop it out, there is no extras, and boom, there you go. You have the Azteca. Now, what I love about this, first of all, I know we're not doing pros and cons, but it is tiny. This thing is very small. Before we even break it down, I'm gonna show you how small. This is a pulse. So, you can see the width, this thing is actually skinnier than a spade and it's about the same height. In your hand, this thing is smaller than the SQ. And for those of you that have the SQ, the SQ feels absolutely tiny. This is like two millimeters thinner than the SQ. Absolutely small. We have some fun with science. 76 millimeters. That is nothing. And that's from the 510 to the base. Now, the width on this is what's crazy. We don't want to do the button. Width, 42.8 millimeters. That is friggin' tiny by 24 and a half. So right off the jump, I love this thing for its size. Now this is 3D printed, and from everything that I looked on it, it's not injection molded. It is actually 3D printed. It feels just like um, all of the other 3D printed stuff that I have. Up top, you have a 510 spring-loaded. Nice little O-ring right there. Let's see what you'll fit. So. Here is the Solo by D-Mods. This is a 22 millimeter, of course that's gonna fit. Looks awesome. 22s look absolutely killer on this. We have the Goon LP, which is a 24 millimeter. 24 millimeter 
fits perfect. You will see no overhang whatsoever. Anything over this right here, anything over 24 millimeters, you're gonna overhang. I mean, these edges, they're close, but there's not overhang. It's absolutely right at the edge. So 24 millimeter is going to be your limit. So if you don't mind overhang, you could roll with a 28, check that out. Wouldn't that be nice? Just roll around. Look, that doesn't look weird or anything. Pretty awesome. Actually, I think that's I think that's how I'm gonna rock it right there. But a little top heavy, but yeah, 28. You know, there's just a little bit. Not it's actually not it's actually not that bad. You got a little bit on the front right there, but uh, you know, you could totally pull off a 28 if you really wanted to. Yeah. So outside, all right, so outside of the box, right away, I liked it because there's not really anything on it. I mean, there is this nice little engraving. It's like an Aztec kind of Mayan looking face with his tongue sticking out. And I think those are like his earrings. And then he's got like some type of like crown on. Look, there's his nose and his eyes. I like it, I think it's cool. And then you have that nice little engraving on the side there. But other than that, you know, very clean. All the edges are smooth. The door is solid. The door doesn't move side to side. I'll show you how the magnets go, but it will move like this. If you push these corners, it does move like that. But side to side, it doesn't move. In the hand, it really doesn't move either unless you're pushing on these corners up here. But anything else, like here or here, it's totally solid. So, yeah. Nothing on the bottom. Button, very, it's just a very, you know, standard button. It's light press. There is no safety features, no locking or anything like this. This is 100% mechanical, which means Ohm's Law, battery safety. All right, so popping the door off. First of all, the edges of the squonk door, they're all beveled, so that's it's very nice. The back of it, now this is where I was looking to see, you know, if this was possibly injection molded, because usually there's those little like kind of round hole inserts, but it wasn't. And as a matter of fact, like these magnets, they were actually covered with this coating. So I actually had to scratch the coating off the magnets. So it's kind of a different location. You have one magnet down there and one magnet here. And that's why when I showed you up top, It'll move like that, but it doesn't move side to side. So just, you know, if you push these top two corners, it moves a little bit. But other than that, it secures the door. You know, it secures the door just fine. I've had no problems with the door flying off or anything. So the Squonk bottle. Now, when I was checking this thing out online, this is what caught my eye. They claim 13 milliliters on this. 13. And it is very, very tall. Um, in comparison, now it is thinner than the Pulse, but as far as the height, it's definitely taller than the Pulse bottle. And the Pulse bottle fits inside this mod. A lot of bottles fit inside this mod. They're claiming 13. I have no way of checking that, but I do have a 10 milliliter bottle of juice that we're gonna dump the whole thing in there, and I guess that'll give us kind of a good idea. But other than that, it's a very nice silicone squishy bottle. The straw on this one, it didn't come cut, so you have to cut it, you know, just do a nice little 45 degree angle. The, the fill port on it, it's plenty big. Anything that you have, a dripper, uh, gorillas, unicorns, they're all gonna work. And it just has some good threading on there. Overall, it's exactly what I like in a squonk bottle. Nice, soft silicone. And if this really does hold 13, if this thing holds 10 milliliters, I will be thoroughly impressed. For as small of a squonker as this thing is, if this holds 10 milliliters or more, that's pretty badass. The squonker itself. 
Now this is a very basic, this is squonking 101. If you looked up squonker in the dictionary, this is what you should find. It has the classic contacts, or your, it's bent here at a 90 degree angle, comes up, you know, it's all copper, and it just makes a little connection right up there with the 510. Um, if you can see up top here, this is all copper, and then down there, copper. It doesn't say, but I just run positive down because there's so much, you know, there's hardly any surface area here. That's like a, like a rivet. So I just use that for my positive down and negative goes up on that. Here and here is where your, your magnets go. So that guy is going there, that guy is going there. You have your standard little insulator guy right there. And then also a battery ribbon, which I'm gonna cut off after this review. It does work, but so does the traditional bang your battery out method. It's just kind of weird, cause this is, I can't really show you on camera, but it's, it goes through this and there's just a knot tied on the other side. And it's right next to this contact, and it's just kind of weird to have something that could catch on fire or whatever right there. Plus, I don't use this anyways, so I just wanted to keep it on here for the review. So it does come with a strap that can help you remove your battery, but this is one of those ones where you just give it a nice, and it pops right out. Um, other than that, I mean, it's just, it's just a squonker. It's just a straight up squonker. It's very, very light. Anyone out there that has a 3D printed mod, you guys know how light this is. This is 18650 only. Like I've been saying, I do not care if it's an 18650 mech, as long as it's small. If you're gonna go with an 18650, it had better be small. An 18650 on a regulated mod, forget about it. The battery life, it's just, the, the chip just draws too much. An 18650 on a mech squonk, especially if you're running single coils and stuff like that, you can get really good battery life. And the size difference, I mean, it's it's got just as many pros as like a 2700. That might not look like a lot on camera, but in the hand, that is a huge difference. This thing is so small in the hand. I mean, it is just absolutely tiny. This mod is compared to to this in the hand, I mean this, it's absolutely, I mean, you can't even see it. Now, 3D printed, which they do use some, some verbiage in here. I'm not a professional on 3D printing. So back to the 3D printing. Now, this is directly off their site. It says 3D printed squonk machine box, sandblasting process, body, and embossing process printing. I don't know what the fuck that means, but someone out there probably does. I'm just, whatever that means, that means something. But I can tell you that this is not injection molded at all. There's no, you can't see where any of the molds were put in. There's no tiny little circles like you see on other mods that are injection molded. I mean, there's nothing. So I have every reason to believe them on their 3D printed. Other than that, I mean, this is as basic as it gets. And it was very cheap. I'm gonna tell you where I bought this and how cheap it is after we put something on top of it. I got a shitload of RDAs I'm testing right now, which means that I have been pulling stuff off all my mods and I have not been on a B2K like consistently. I have the one on the pulse, but usually I always have two in my life. So I believe we're going to do a B2K with this nice little clear cap. All right. Hit it.
And that was... Can you name where that song came from? The movie. It's a classic. But that also was the Azteca by Wilong. Wilong. So, we're gonna do pros and cons. Start off with the cons, end with the pros. Always end on a positive note around here. On the Azteca. Let's have vape first. Whew. First con is gonna be the juice that I used to test the bottle. This candy cane is garbage. So I strongly suggest don't ever buy that green fuck you flavor because it's disgusting. But I'll keep vaping this for you guys. But that was in the name of science. We'll get to, this, to what, what this bottle holds in a second. But okay, so cons. Cons on this, it's a very basic box. I mean, <sighs> there's, there's not much to it. I guess I guess my biggest con would be the magnets. It just seems like putting the magnet in the center off of this, it's just a little awkward. It makes it to where the door moves like that. And if they had done just normal like three down the battery and then have a magnet down here or something like that, I think it wouldn't have moved like that. But even that, that movement isn't that bad. There's no movement side to side, but I'll con that. And the other con, which is a massive con to me, is it didn't come with a second squonk bottle. So you only have one. Now we're just gonna roll into pros off of that because that's my only two. Speaking of squonk bottles, this thing will hold pretty much anything because there's, it's so tall. And with that um, dog shit e-liquid that I put in here, that was a 10 milliliter bottle. And it basically filled this up. So I'm going to say that this, this definitely isn't 13 milliliters, but it's closer to 10 milliliters. So 10 milliliters in something this small, I mean, this thing is fucking tiny. The fact that you get 10 milliliters in this little guy right here, that is a massive pro. The fact that pretty much every Squonk bottle you own, now I did do the big Lost Vape one in there, and you could make it fit if you cut down the 510 a little bit, but you could fit that in here, but every other bottle goes in here, no problem, just because this is so tall, and the Pulse bottles go in here, the Athena bottles go in here. It's it's a massive pro that so many different bottles come or will fit in here, even though this only comes with one bottle. The next pro is going to be the size. I mean, it's this is a straight up stealth setup. Absolutely small. Once again, it's a one-handed operation. You can squonk, vape, everything all one hand. Fuck that shit is nasty. Whew. All right. But it's smooth. It's like it sucks because the B2K puts out such good flavor, so I'm getting all of the, to the shittiness of the flavor. It's intensified. But next pro is going to be the weight, too. Not only is it small, but you guys know they have 3D printed mods, and if you don't, they're very light. They're very, very, very light. But to me, like the bigger 3D printed mods, they feel cheap because they're so big and they're so light. They have a cheap feel to them. This doesn't because it's so small. With the 18650 in it and this size right here and full, full of um, 10 milliliters of liquid, this it's got decent weight to it, but it's still extremely light. So this is a very light mod. It's a very small mod. The button on it, it's just, there's nothing special about it. I mean, it's a, it's fine. You know, it's not outstanding. It's not a, a shitty button. It's just a very basic button. Why do I keep doing that? Because you're supposed to vape during the review, right? I really like candies. Blue Pucker is the only candy that I really like, but that Candy King, Candy King, it was like a, I got it like, promo packet or something, but it's fucking disgusting. It's, what is flavor? I'm gonna need to warn you guys. Let me look in the garbage. Uh, Candy King Belts Strawberry. Don't ever vape this. This is horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Horrible. 
We have the fact that it's it's very, very small. It's very, very light. I, I like the way that the box looks. I mean, it has some cool, I think the engraving's pretty cool on it, actually. It's like a, a Aztec, Mayan type of, type of like sculpture mask or something that you would see. And then just the name right there. And then everything else is just totally blank, very clean. It's got that 3D printed kind of gritty feel to it. So, you know, as far as in your hand and stuff like that, it, it feels very secure. It's not a slick mod at all, so I'll give it another pro just for, you know, just overall how it feels in the hand. It's, it, it feels like a much more expensive mod than what I paid for it, which we'll get to in a second. Copper contacts, I mean, everything seems to be hitting fine. I mean, I haven't had any issues with like misfires or, um, you know, I don't see any arcing or anything like that. The fact that it'll take a 24, I think 22s, obviously like when I'm on an 18650 stealth device, I really just prefer a 22, but I mean, a 24 looks fine on there. I mean, 24, no problem whatsoever. Biggest pro on this, and it's gonna be a huge pro for you guys in the UK. The site that I got this off of, Gray Haze, 1999, 19 pounds and 99 pence. That's how you guys say it. 1999 or 20 quid. 20 quid. A cool 20 quid gets you this. For us Yankees, that translates into about $26. And, and this is on grayhaze.com and it's on sale because normally they, it's uh, 44 pounds on there. And everywhere else that I've looked online, like um, 3F Vape and a couple other places, this thing comes up 40 bucks everywhere. So the fact that they have these for $19.99, you know, 20 quid, $26, it's a steal. Now shipping on it was eight bucks, but my suggestion is if you live in the US and, and this is something you want to pick up, you know, buy some other shit. Buy, you know, you can always use cotton or wire or whatever, like a coiling tool or something, but it's $8 shipping. This thing for 25 bucks, I love finding stuff like this because this is a mod that I will totally use. I have no fears of dropping it. I think it's a very, I think it looks awesome. I think it's a really good looking mod. That's my biggest pro overall is the fact that this is, it's a well built. 3D printed squonker for $25. So, hooray for budget squonking. Cause some of this shit can get, you know, I bought a Rebel squonker, that's the opposite of this. It's very expensive. And to be honest with you, I will squonk this more than the Rebel. That sounds horrible, but it's the truth. So this was an A plus for my budget shopping over Memorial Day weekend. This thing is awesome. Thank you guys so much for the comments. It's the weekend. And this is my favorite thing to do. Uh, I can't ever, I, when I'm not working and when I have my spare time, like this is, I just enjoy it so much. And being able to meet all you guys and, you know, get to know, you know, it's, it's a small enough channel where I feel like I know the majority of you. There's a lot of you guys that leave comments and it's just, it's just a different experience. I don't know if it's different for you guys, but obviously it's different for me because I'm, a hardcore YouTuber, hardcore viewer. I still am. I watch every show, watch all kinds of reviewers, but it's you know different when you're on the other side doing the reviewing, but it's just, to me, this has just been an awesome ride. So thank you kindly. And once again, don't know what's going on out there, but around here, even with juice that tastes like sweaty ass crack, it is still all love.